what's the worst thing to wake up to? I was babysitting my niece one time, when she was about 4. I packed her off, to bed and went to watch a movie on the couch, where I promptly dozed off, only to be woken a few hours later in complete darkness, having no idea where I was, and with a tiny, clammy little demon hand grabbing at my ankle. I've never been awake faster in my life, only to be greeted by a very confused child who just wanted a story, and who no one had seen to tell me could get over the baby gate like a god and ninja. We don't tell her mother about the time Aunt Hazel almost kicked her darling daughter through a window. Got woken up by my dad early in the morning to inform me that my mother had passed away in the room across the hall from me. Worst part was that she was only sleeping there to look after a pup that was recently born from the two dogs we had at the time. Otherwise my dad might have woken up and been able to do something about it. The pup ended up crying late at night before or during her heart failure that I ended up passing off as it's really not that uncommon but it really makes me question if I cold done something or not to help her before it happened. Think about it regularly. Calling work and breaking down to my pose boss wasn't great either, but hey, shit day. Hearing a throwing up noise. Edit I was probably in the 4th grade at the time, and I was staying the night at my friend's house sleepover. I remember being super excited, as her mom went all out, and got us junk food, to pig out on and move us to rent. We ate a ton of peanut M&Ms, went to bed, and I woke up to the noise first, and then the smell hit me. Peanuts, chocolate, Doritos, and the vomit smell. She had one of those day beds, and I was on the pullout bottom. I do not know how she missed me, or how I didn't step in any of it on my way out the room to get her mom. There was a spot at the top of my head and the bottom of my feet and all over her bed. Her mom asked me do you want to go home? Um, yes. I'll call my mom. Took me a long time to eat peanut M&Ms. Edits wow. Thanks for all the rewards. It's a first. Thank you thank you. Thanks to a fever, stress, some medication, and too much wine one night I woke up to my family yelling at me, asking what the hell I was doing, as I was standing next to my open dresser drawer, taking a long piss onto my folded pants. Sleepwalking is weird af. Oh, I got a story on that one. I once got drunk, started sleepwalking, and woke up to my parents yelling at me. I was laying in the middle of the stairs, I fell down about 7 steps without waking up, left a few bruises, good times. The end of that dream, where you really need a pee, and start to feel the satisfaction of warming release. I had a dream once that I had to pee bad, and so I went into the bathroom in my dream, and saw a urinal, so I was like let's go. Anyways I start peeing, and it's just a waterfall of piss. Like have you ever bought a really big drink and just drank it all in an hour, and then had to pee, and you're peeing so much, that you have to stop the full stream for a second, so that you can full stream again. That's exactly how it was, but it was just never ending. The kept going for what felt like 15 minutes, until I woke up and thankfully I hadn't pissed the bed. I don't know how I was able to hold it in through peeing so much in my dreams, but it was a relief. About 18 years ago, the police were banging on my door. I was asleep, since I wasn't working that day. He asked me if there was anything wrong, and why didn't I go to work. I told him I didn't work Saturdays. He said call your manager, she is worried about you. Apparently, the new manager put me on the schedule when I was supposed to be off. Since I never missed work or called in, she thought something happened. It was sweet of her to care, but I was really freaked out when I saw that cop. Woke up to the police knocking on our door a few days before Christmas, when I was 14, saying my brother had been reported missing. Turned out the drunk fucker just fell asleep on the train, and ended up in Dublin but shit, that was terrifying. Edit, for clarity, we live in Co. Cork Island. I've had that before. Luckily, it was all a misunderstanding, the manager looked at the wrong week's schedule, hence why I got a text a few minutes later which was basically sorry, looked at the wrong rota. See you tomorrow, same time as usual. Wasn't exactly how I wanted to start my day, but it got me out of bed at least. 
someone yelling at you. It can ruin a whole day. I worked with a kid who experienced this often. He would come to school out of sorts and anxious little things would set him off at school and he would lash out. He would be punished, labeled a bad kid, sent home to this anxiety inducing household again with parents who were angry at him. Poor kid was prepared to fight slash fly most of the day. And of course with all of that going on, he was learning nothing and getting behind his class, which made him more anxious because he didn't want to look stupid. I once did. I was at the age where you should kind of be waking yourself up, but you are also young. I was like 9 to 10 at the time I think, and I went downstairs to my parents room to ask why they didn't wake me up. I go downstairs and into the hallway where their room is. As I walk down the hall I hear a weird noise, and when I'm about 4 meters away I hear my mom moaning and whimpering, like she is trying to be quiet, but also is very into it. I was mortified, and I just sat in my bed for a couple minutes just wondering why I had to witness that. After that my parents yelled at me for not being ready for the bus. Your house burning down. Had this happen once, when I was in middle school. It wasn't burning down completely, but the bathroom caught fire. Had to scramble out of bed and grab the super stubborn dog and get foe. Edit. A lot of people are asking. The bathroom caught fire from a malfunctioning bathroom fan. It was actually something my family pressed on the landlord to fix for a while before the fire occurred. Sunlight. I work the early morning shift, and I'm already driving to work before the sun even comes up a couple of times my phone has ended up under my pillow and I've missed my alarm, only to wake up to the sun glaring in my eyes. That sudden feeling of facking up always sucks. Can I just say I absolutely love the fact your username is Slytherin, and you have a pet snake. Also, that is the most gag worthy story I've ever read. A plus. Lol thanks. Her name was Najani. Unfortunately she passed away last year. My ex volunteered to care for her when I moved out until I had the money to rent a Ruyol and he wasn't refilling her water. OMW yes. I once woke up, stared at the ceiling for like 10 seconds and then moved my thigh literally like 1 centimeter to the right and a clot came bobbing out. I went from dazed and sleepy eyed to Usain Bolt eyeing to the bathroom, which, by the way, caused like 3 more clots to roll out. And what's worse is, that I knew I was going to start the night before, I just fell asleep forgetting to put something on. Yes, I'm stupidity and stupidity is me. I always sleep with a folded black towel underneath me for this exact reason, but that day I bled through my undies, pajama pants, the towel, my t-sheets, and into the mattress. I honestly thought I was dying. To this day the heaviest period I've ever had. Woke up to three firemen banging on my door to my apartment room. Hoped out of my bed into a pool of water. Instantly realized what was going on and ran into my bathroom to turn off the tub and sink. Opened the door to those firemen and my roommate with his hands over his head and looked around to see my apartment flooded. I slept walked and turned on the bath in my sink. Call from your teacher, wondering where you are for your final state run exam in high school. A better. Well, something like that. Check version of it. There is only one set date, stata wide, and if you miss it, you have to repeat it in September, and there's almost a certainty you won't make it to university in the same year. About an hour after it's officially finished, people from education ministry come pick up the papers, and then there's nothing you can do about it. I was woken up by the call from my teacher, wondering where I was at the time it was starting. The thing is, my high school was about 45 minutes from my home. I rushed in, finished the missing part after every other student went home due to being teacher's favorite, for once it paid off, and saw the people from ministry getting to the building, just when I was leaving. I was just in my way, to buy a huge view K for my teacher. I graduated with honors. Here we are. Seven years later, and I still have the lightest of sleeps when there's anything important coming up in the morning. Death. Two years ago, I woke up to my parents crying as they were informed that my grandfather had passed away. We packed in 30 minutes and took the first flight out for my grandfather's funeral. 
It still haunts me to this day. 2am smoke detector battery chirp. And you have 7 smoke detectors on 10 foot high ceilings. So you have to get a goddamn ladder out of the garage at 2 fucking am in the morning. Change your batteries on a schedule to avoid that shit. It sucks for so many reasons. If it happened in the middle of the night, it's cold and kind of dried, but also sticky and just everywhere. If it more recently happened, it's warm and sticky. But then also you get the added anger of knowing that, if you'd woken up a little earlier, you wouldn't have a mess to clean up. It's terrible that depending on how long it's gotten to sit, and how much there is, those clothes slash bedding might be ruined. You can do a lot to get blood out with cold water and hydrogen peroxide, but sometimes it isn't enough. But I think the worst part of it is that you know it's not necessarily a one-time thing. If you got stuck with maximum bad luck as far as how heavy your period is and how long it lasts, you'd have a chance of that happening maybe 3 to 5 nights a month for most of your life. That is the like worst case scenario, but it's not impossible. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you would like to see more, feel free to subscribe.